Hello and welcome back to another video. If my voice sounds a little bit different, it is because I am trying to overcome flu. I haven't gotten it yet. So it is either that I will get it or I will not. I rather not get it though. Also, if you hear any disturbance at the back, it is because it is raining at the moment and there are a lot of thunder sounds in the back. I will try to remove as much as I can, but if you still hear some, that is because it is raining. So I have finally been able to come up with my uh, original character. So in my video previous from the last one, uh, which was named Look Closely, um, in that I painted a little fairy and I said that I wanted to create an original uh, character that was a fairy. I started to work on that idea and um, started developing my own fairy character. So I started with a little bit of research as I needed to know a, a few things about the fairies. So when I started to research, I found out a lot of amazing stuff which I did not know before. There were a few key stuff I needed to know. First, I needed to know what was a fae and if a fae was just another way of saying a fairy um and what was a difference uh, what and if there was any difference what was that so i found out that there were actually three terms that were uh, commonly inter interchangeably used for the fairy but when i uh, researched further i found out that it all three words even though people use them to describe only one type of creature i found out that it they really are very different from each other first one i will discuss is fairy fairy not fairy fairy uh, fairy f-a-i-r-y are the ones that we usually talk about the winged creatures the tiny winged cre creatures with with powers that are nature based so example of that would be tinkerbell and then there is fairy which is f-a-e-r i.e. I will try to put these on the screen so you will be able to see which one I'm talking about. So the fairy is like an antagonist to the fairy which would be a protagonist if you are trying to explain it in a more simpler form. So the fairy is uh, derived from the word Latin word fatum which means fate and these uh, creatures are considered to be cute, pure and young. They are considered to be impartial to the human world, but if they cross paths with a human, they are helpful to them instead of causing any trouble. But the fairy is derived from the Gaelic word, I hope I pronounced that right, and it means man of the she with double e, not single e. They are considered to be evil and horrid creatures. They are known to steal children and keep them as their slaves and the word fae is collectively used for fairy and fairy so when people say the fae people they are not distinguishing between which type of creature they are talking about they are talking about the collective of the creatures Examples that I was found, uh, finding of the fairy was a banshee, but then again, banshee can be evil and cannot be evil depending on the circumstances she is in. And so I don't think that a banshee can be classified in the fairy category because it really depends on what type of a person became a banshee. I think this type of research does put you on the right path of developing your character or whatever you are trying to create from that type of research. So in the future, if I need to create an antagonist for my character, I will be able to classify them as fairies and be able to make like a, an authentic storyline between the two. So that was a lot of fun trying to come up with the whole storyline although I did not even know what type of fairy I was uh, trying to create. Then I started to uh, then after I found out the difference between the three 
I started to specifically research about the fairies uh, and I found out that they draw their powers from the nature. Belief in fairies is uh, found in almost every culture around the globe um, but it seems to be sent but it seems to be centered around Europe and British Isles more as the first known history of the fae is found in the medieval Western European folklore. There are many theories about the origin of the fae, but the most popular theory is that they have been around the world even before the humans and they had been living in harmony and peacefully when but then but then the humans came in and all these mythical creatures had to live in secret so they could protect themselves from the humans. Although uh, many uh, also believe that they are the souls that were never baptized or they are the fallen angels but I don't think that them being fallen angels would result in them being fairies because some of them are nice and some of them are not. So I think that if we were to believe in the existence of the fairies then them being here on the planet as another type of species does make more sense than them being fallen angels. So after researching all of this, I had I was able to visualize what type of fairy I wanted. In the initial idea, I was only working on the fairy which was which drew her powers from the flowers. But then as I worked on the idea, I thought that I should add another uh, element in her. So I started to combine two elements with her personality. I knew that I wanted her to draw her powers from two elements but I needed to uh, decide what elements that would be and what elements would work together. So after working on the idea a little bit more, I was able to finalize that I wanted to uh, incorporate water element with the earth element. Then I refined the idea of the earth element a bit more and decided to make her half flower fairy and half water fairy and the storyline that i am working on right now is that and that is that her father is the water element fairy and her mother is the flower fairy and at the moment she is the only fairy uh, that draws energy from two elements and if there are more like her or not that would be uh, that will be revealed in the future so as she is a flower and water fairy, I decided to give her the name Water Lily and I really like how she turned out. A few last minute decisions that I made that I'm happy that I did before I started painting her were that instead of longer hair, I gave her short hair which I think suits her personality more than a long, long hair. And the wings that I was going to give her were um, were going to be transparent but then I decided that I would paint them in a way that, that they would look like flower petals and I am really happy that I made uh, made those decisions as because she turned out better than what I had thought she would look like so I am very ha happy with the results comment down below if you um, comment down below what you think about her and I will see you at the end card
enjoyed the video remember to like comment and subscribe and i will see you next time bye